Hello and welcome to our video on Meteor for iPad. In this video, we'll be discussing exporting a mixdown and FTP retrieval. For the first example, I'm going to export this song as an uncompressed WAV file. To do this, select mixdown from the file menu and then mix down to WAV. Type in the file name and press enter. You can also export a compressed CAF file in exactly the same fashion. Just pick export to CAF from the menu. If you want to transfer a song from one device to another, or simply make a backup for safekeeping, you can do so using the backup option in the Project Explorer window. Simply select the song and press the backup button. Once the backup is complete, press the backups tab and you can see the file you've just created. The file can now be retrieved using an FTP client or a web browser. Before you can transfer files to a Mac or PC, you must first enable the FTP server within Meteor. You can do this by selecting Enable FTP from the Options menu, and then selecting Yes. A dialog should now appear showing your server address or IP address and the port number needed to retrieve files from Meteor. To retrieve files using a web browser, Type FTP colon forward slash forward slash followed by your IP address, a colon, and then the port number 20,000 into the address bar of your web browser. When asked for a username and password, select guest and then connect. A window should now appear showing files and folders within Meteor. There's a backups folder and an exported folder. Exported files appear in the exported folder and it's a simple case of dragging these to your desktop to perform the transfer. You can copy your single file backups in exactly the same manner. In this example, I'm using FileZilla, which is a free Windows and Mac based FTP client. Simply type your IP address into the host field, leave the username and password blank, and type 20,000 into the port and press Quick Connect. If all goes well, a list of files and folders will appear in a remote files window. Simply double tap the exported folder and drag the file of your choice from the remote window to the local window on the left. The file will now be transferred to your PC or Mac. The thing to bear in mind here is the IP address or host, which will change from computer to computer. Have fun and watch out for other tutorial videos coming soon.